Welcome to Mrs. Hess's third grade class at McClellan. Today we'll be sorting rocks with Mr. Croslin with our junior geologists. Hey, thanks for that great introduction. You see, today I'm working with some excellent scientists. In fact, we call them geologists because they study the Earth's rocks. So today's lesson is about sorting rocks, and geologists sort rocks, I sort rocks, I bet you sort rocks. Have you ever had a rock that's uh, so small that it's in your shoe? Yeah. 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 Um, have you ever had a rock that you could fit in your pocket? Yeah. And I bet some of you have seen rocks that are so big that <laughs> you can't even pick them up. Yeah. You see, oh, maybe a truck or a crane, and some rocks are so big they're as large as this classroom, and those are called boulders. So rocks come in all different sizes, and what we're gonna do today is learn how to sort them. And we're gonna use some science tools, or what I like to say, some science instruments. So let's get started with our first part. Okay, so I brought my students and my science instruments here, and these are some of the instruments we're gonna be using today. And, you know, if you ever hear the word science instrument, that doesn't mean like a trumpet. <laughs> it also could mean like a science tool. And so most science tools or science instruments like this one help extend one of your senses, either your smell, your hearing, your touch, or in this case, your, eyesight. your, your eyesight. So this is a hand lens and it has two lenses. It has a big one and a small one. But when you get a chance to look at this, you're gonna see that one of them enlarges, pretty good size, and the other one really enlarges. So there's two ways to use this. One, you can hold a rock and look at it like that, or you can bring this up to your eye and then bring this in here. And when you get to write this, you'll know exactly where the good focus is. It's called the focus point or the focal point. Way here it's blurry, 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 ah, ah, focus, blurry. And you'll be able to tell that when you look at those. So that's one of our science tools or instruments we're gonna to use today. Another one we're gonna use is called a sieve, sieve, yes. And a sieve is a way to sort rocks. Now I have three different sieves here. Huh. Take a look at this one, this one, and this one. How are they alike? And how are they different? Yes. They help me sort rocks. That's one way they're alike. What's another way they're right? Well, like, yes. Uh, uh, they have like, well, I have a different. They have like different things. Different openings, like squares, and they're different sizes, right? Okay. Which one do you think is the largest? The square. The green. And then. The, uh, blue, uh, blue. Uh, blue, okay. The, 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 the and so, how else are they alike? They are all, uh, yes. Sieves. Sieves, right? And they all fit inside of each other. So, and so I have a bunch of rocks here. Are these rocks the same size? No. Uh, so, I have coarse gravel. Coarse gravel, that means it's kind of big. And I have fine gravel. And I have sand. I wonder how we could sort these and separate these out. You have some ideas? Yes. Um, Yes. Put the um, put them in sips and shake it out because um, the sand will yeah. go through. Okay. Well, let's try that, shall we? Okay. So here's what I think I'll do. I'm going to start with which which order should we put them in? Which one should be first? Big. The, the big. big. Yeah. And then um, medium. Medium. Me, and then in the last Little. one. Little. Yeah. And <laughs> huh. so I'm going to set these right here on this, and I'm going to switch. Okay, let's watch what happens. You ready? So I'm gonna put these two here. What do you think's gonna happen? The big rocks are gonna stay the green one, and the little ones are gonna go inside the black one. Well, let's just find out. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Things are disappearing on me. Let me shake this. Oh. The big rocks are staying. The big rocks are staying. So we're sorting these. So these are coarse gravel or big gravel, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can sort these even more. What do you think? Yeah. Let's try. I'm going to do it down here like this. Now we have large, 
not so large, right? Hold and that. And then sand. And then, oh, move that just side. I bet I can trap that sand in there. Ready? Watch. What? <laughs> so this must be really fine sand. So see how we can sort that? I can keep pour, pouring it through. Wait a minute. Oh, I caught some. That must have came through. I'll put those back there. Let's try that again. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll sort that. So I, I think that is one way we can sort rocks. Let's, let's try that again, all right? Let's put this in here. Go ahead and put yours in there. Okay, let's set these up. Who would like to set these up for me? Would you set them up for me? Which, how do they go? Okay, okay, and here you go. And set that down, and this time you do it. Carefully, okay, or quickly. <laughs> now what do you do? It's raining rocks. <laughs> There's a few, shake a few more times to see. Okay. Look at that. Those three still stayed. And then finally, we have, go ahead and do that one. Yes. I, did you notice that? There used to be one that put in there. Okay, I think that one's nice and sorted. And then what? More sand and shake. Okay, that's one way to sort rocks. So. I thought it'd be good if we brought five different types of rocks and minerals, okay? Five different types of rocks and minerals. Here's one type. Sand. You think that's what? Sand. Sand. Here's another type. Gravel. Fine gravel. Here's another type. Rocks. Uh, or coarse gravel. See how this Red one's? Red clay. Red clay. And silk. Silk. This, yeah, this is a black. Silk. Silk. It looks like silk, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, silk is usually in water. This is called black loam. Yeah. loam. And so you're going to get all five of these. And the first thing you're going to do is use your hand lens and take some time to observe them to see how they're like or different. Are you ready to get started on that? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go back to our seats and get busy. Okay. You can see it. You can see the tiny, tiny pieces of the sand and that. This, this kind of looks like like when you make cookies. It kind of looks like flour on it. Okay, so you have your worksheet. And you see down here, we have five different samples we're going to try to sort. So let's take a look at the first one. What you're going to do first is we are going to look at one of these. You just had a chance to make observations. So what are some of the properties of this? What's the color, do you think? Yes. Tannish. Tan. Kind of a little bit of red and Tan. black. Tan, maybe some speckles. What's another word to describe that? How did it feel? Yes. How did it feel? What, okay, who, who can tell me how does it feel? Yes. Smooth. It felt smooth. And what else? Yes. It's grainy. It has grains. It's grainy. Yes. Grainy. So I would like everybody to write at least three observations or three properties of the sand, of the coarse gravel, of the loam soil, the fine gravel, and the red clay. That's your first job to write them. And then here's what we're going to do. Check this out. You're going to take some pinch of sand and you're going to put it right here in the middle. Now, if you don't like how that it is, just redo it. Pull it off like that. Okay. And we will try it one more time. I'm going to take it. If I drop it too high, watch what happens. It goes everywhere. That's not so good. So it's better if we, instead of dropping it, take a pinch and push it and let go. Now you see how it's kind of close together? Yeah. That's really good because now we've written our three words, 
We have our sample. We're gonna take a piece of clear tape and we're gonna put it over it and push it down around the edges. And we're gonna take our hand lens and make some more observations, okay? So the key things to do with that is when you take a pinch, don't drop it from high, push it down. So there's our sand. Which one of these would be the coarse gravel? Point to the coarse gravel for me. Yep, that's it. Coarse means large. And so before I before I tape it, what do I have to do? Right. Right. Three, observations. three observations, three properties. You guys uh, want to get started? Yes. Yes. All right, I'll see you back at your desk. Get busy. That's fine, Brown. So you have the core to grab. So what can you say about this? What's this five? Fine. Fine. Now. I need help. Duh! 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 Okay, so you notice that these rock samples are different sizes. Do you notice that? Yeah. So in geology, even when we crush rocks or sort rocks, the bigger the rock, the smaller the number. So which rock would you call number one on your paper? What Coarse gravel. Coarse gravel. Go ahead and write number one by it. Oh, I see you have. Which one would you call the smallest rock? Yes, sand. 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 That should be number five. So let's go ahead and numbers one, two, three, four, and five. So we know one is the largest and five is the smallest. Go ahead. Okay, you want to show us on your paper how you numbered them? Yeah. This is number one, coarse gravel. Number two is fine gravel. Number three is loam, loam soil. Number four is red clay. And number five is sand. Excellent job, young man. Nice job on that. Look at all those different samples. Okay, let's look at the top of your worksheet because we have been making our samples. And now at the top of your worksheet, you'll see there is a large square, right? Kind of like this, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, so let's divide that in half. So make, let's divide it right down the middle, right here. Okay, got that? On this side, I want you to put before at the top, kind of small. Label it. And on this side, I want you to write after. Okay? Now, we're going to make a little drawing. We're going to do, we're going to use some science instruments and make a sorting of some rocks. Okay? Here we go. So here's what I want you to draw on this side, ready? This is gonna be your paper towel, okay? Paper towel. And then we're going to have your sieve that looks like this, see that? And those actually will be touching each other, so let's put these so they're touching, okay? Paper towel and your sieve. So the science instruments we're going to use are the sieve, S-I-E-V-E, -E, and this thing right here. And what is this called? It looks like this. Paper. Hand glass. Hand lens. <coughs> That's your hand lens or magnifier. So that is one of our science instruments. And the sieve today is our other science instrument. Got it? Now, you're going to... Lay this on the paper towel. I might put PT here. What does that stand for? Paper towel. Paper towel. And then up here, I'm going to put, and I'm going to label this gravel and sand. So here's what I want you to do paper towel, your sieve. And then we're going to split up and put gravel and sand right here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I like how you guys have put the sieve on the paper towel. Looks like the whole class is ready. Now what we're going to do is put two or three spoons of gravel and sand, coarse, fine, 
and sand in your sieve, but do not pick up your sieve yet. Okay, so you now have, just like you're drawing, you have your paper towel, your sieve, and your sand and gravel. What do you think is gonna happen when we lift it up? Sand. What's gonna fall through? Sand. sand. And maybe the small gravel? Yeah. All right, let's, let's try yours. Go ahead, one at a time, let's lift it up over and then shake it gently over the paper towel. Shake it up and down a little more. There we go, and lift it up, and what's underneath here? Sand, and some small ones. All right, let's, let's try this, ready? Take your worksheet, put it down, put that sieve on your worksheet, okay? Now lift this up, and put it back in there. Okay, I'll help you, ready? Now this time, sift it on your worksheet. Lift it up, shake it, there you go. And what did it do? Sorted it again. This time, lift it up. Sort it. Do it again. Good job. You guys can try that, okay? We sorted rocks earlier in the week. How is this different than the way we sorted rocks before? Aisha? Yeah, we sorted rocks earlier in the week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And what type did you sort them by? What was that? Very good. So now we're sorting them by size. Sort it one way, then do it on your worksheet and try it a different way. Boys and girls, so we made our before drawing. Here's what our after drawing should look like. Tell me if I'm wrong. You have a paper towel right here, right? And what is piled up on this paper towel? Sand. Sand. And so make your drawing like that. And then we have up here our sieve that we're holding up in the air. And what now, if the sand is down here, what is up here? The gravel, right? Mm -hmm. The gravel is sorted up here in the sieve, and the sand came down. Go ahead and make your drawing. So, so today, we've learned a little bit about geology. At the last lesson, you sorted rocks by their type, metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary. And today, we sorted rocks by their size. Good job, young geologists.